Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here. We are in the tower, it is Zer Day, and Zer has arrived in the hangar, so he's going to be over here in the back. And got a couple things today while we run over there. One, Invitation of the Nine, that video will be separate, so if you guys are looking to see that lore piece and just kind of what's involved in that one, I will post that one up separately, so look for that in another video. I'll link it up top, so you guys can click over to that one as soon as I've got it ready. Um, and then also... Zer is supposed to have random rolls this week, and the exotic engram, or the faded engram, is supposed to include exotics from Forsaken. So, Forsaken exotics can be in here. Again, I don't know specifically. I haven't really tested it. Probably won't at first, because I'm missing mostly just Forsaken exotics on my hunter. So, if there's certain armor you're missing, and you've got all the weapons per se, you might try and log into the character that's missing your armor first if you're trying to buy your faded engram there before you buy like i'm on my titan i have everything so i don't want to buy the faded engram here in case it just gives me a new titan roll and i've got everything so i'm missing stuff on my hunter so i'm gonna go there to at least give myself a better chance i don't know if the system actually thinks about all that stuff but for me until i test it out i'm just gonna you know go straight to the hunter so keep that in mind if you guys are looking for specific class things go to that class i i think it may work that way i could be totally wrong though so forgive me if i am but today we've got the Jade Rabbit, and this is going to be your good old scout rifle. Been a while since I've used this one. Chain body shots to gain bonus damage on your next precision shot and return ammo to the magazine. So in theory, it's actually kind of fun. Uh, if you get a couple precision shots, your next per your couple body shots, your next precision shot will get more damage and you'll get some ammo back in the magazine. So you can just kind of keep that cycle going pretty continuously. It's actually good for that. To me, it just wasn't the biggest bonus in damage, especially in something like PvE. It's not really going to make that much of a difference, so it wasn't a big selling point for me. It has some pretty cool looks to it, like some of the ornaments definitely look cool. Um, definitely gives a unique look. And then the catalyst is actually pretty good as well. I think, I forget where that one actually comes from. Crucible. Yep, so... You've got polygonal rifling for stability, armor piercing rounds, and zen moments. So pretty straightforward scout rifle. It's just body, body, head, which is kind of weird. It means you have to go for body shots, which are going to do less damage. Then by the time you go for a headshot, I don't think that headshot bonus damage outweighs what you're potentially giving up in the body shots. So it's kind of a weird thing. Um, if you don't have it added to your collections, you know, if nothing else, just so, you know, if you if you don't have, say, this one, if you don't have any of these, by the way, and you're thinking about the Faded Engram, buy them here first. Even if you don't love the rolls, buy all of these before you buy the Faded Engram because you could buy these for 23 or 29 instead of 97 shards, which if you have plenty of shards, it's not a big deal, but it's definitely a better way to eliminate these from the pool of drops if you're trying to get something else, potentially. So, Jade Rabbit Scout Rifle, it's fine. It's just, um, I don't feel it's worth that much personally. Then we've got the Lucky Pants for the Hunters. You guys will notice I am on my Titan, and up here the previews are cool because it basically gives you a Hunter with no armor, so I have this, like, spaceship effect. But you actually can preview all things now, which is pretty cool. Illegally Modded Holster. Precision hits load one round to the chamber of stowed hand cannons. Hand cannons ready faster and are more accurate immediately after swapping to them. So if you're doing getting precision hits with something else, um, you can load one round into the chamber of stowed hand cannons. I don't know if it's like overloading or not. I'm not entirely sure. It may be. Uh, but then if you switch over, the switch is faster and you're accurate, more accurate right after swapping. So depending on what you're running, if you're running like a fusion rifle, sniper rifle, and then you switch over to hand cannon to get that next shot off, that can actually be a pretty valuable pairing. Intelligently, they put hand cannon dexterity with it, which is good. Also got fusion rifle dexterity and outreach. And we've got Scout Rifle Scavenger and Special Ammo Finder, as you'll probably be using something else with your hand cannon. Special Ammo Finder is probably going to be reasonably fitting, at least, so that one's not a terrible roll to go with that one. And we've got the Dune Marchers. This is going to be Linear Actuators. Increases sprint speed, one of the rare things that makes you run a little faster. Sprinting builds up a static charge after melee attacking an enemy. That charge will chain to nearby enemies. While in theory it sounds kind of cool, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to be... Uh, Amazing. I know some people have said there can be some good uses for it. If you run, you get a charge, and then if you melee somebody, it's going to have that, you know, a chain effect if you're running into multiple people. And it depends on if you're going to use this in PvE or PvP. Um, it can have some ups and downs in both of those situations. Uh, restorative mod versus mobility. Probably mobility since you're going for speed. Again, everything here, this is another pair of boots. So I know they said Zer is supposed to have random rolls. 
But apparently, like, if he's still going to have boots, all the boots have ran have the same roles. So, fusion rifle, hand cannon, outreach, scout rifle, special ammo finder. All that stuff the same, because they're still boots. So, that hasn't changed. But yeah, increasing sprint speed, getting the static charge, and that melee bonus damage. Kind of an interesting one in theory. Finally, for the Warlock, we've got the Star Fire Protocol. So, over here, we've got fusion grenades have an additional charge. So, you have two. One thing to remember, if you do have double grenades, that second recharge does take longer to refill. Kind of annoying, but they definitely changed that a while ago, so it's been there. Uh, and recharge from empowered weapon damage. Um, fusion grenade kills grant rift energy. So, if you... Uh, so, let me put this together right. So, if you use an empowering rift and you do damage, um, you will recharge your grenade faster if you're doing damage in an empowering rift. And fusion grenade kills... Grant Rift Energy. So it's kind of the cycle of Empowering Rift and Fusion Grenade, and Empowering Rift and Fusion Grenade. So, actually, kind of cool. Um, not a big departure from the last one of the mods. We've got Unflinching Bow Aim, Unflinching Fusion Rifle Aim, and Unflinching Kinetic Aim. And then Scout Rifle Reserves and Special Ammo Finder. So this one's still the same, pretty similar. And then this one's got your variation to it. Overall, if you like your Warlock and you're kind of running solar, running those Fusion Grenades, using your Empowering Rift for damage, I can definitely see how this could be an interesting cycle. Might be one I just might have to toy around with just because I haven't used this in a while. So none of these are like, I would say, like game breakers or meta winners or anything like that right now. And the weapon, Jade Rapid, sadly from Curse of Osiris, I was like, meh, it's it's fine. So pretty low-key week on uh, your exotics. Invitation of the Nine will be called Strength. And I will do that one uh, separately. We're going to be going to Mercury for that one. So Cabal, Hive, and Vex. I'm kind of curious how that one will go. I'm not entirely sure where you find Hive. Let me take that back. Remember, you can do the Cabal, the Hive, the Vex on any planet. You just have to do the Strike the Garden world. Obviously, that's on Mercury. But the samples, you can collect those on any planet. So I will say that now. But I'm going to go do Strength on a separate video. For now, this will wrap up Zer. It is April 12th. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. I will be probably streaming some of this and also Sekiro later. I've got some nice progress in Sekiro this morning. Kind of opened up a new path. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Leave a comment. If you have any thoughts, opinions about any of these exotics, Please feel free to share your stories. The more information out there, always the better. And if you guys haven't hit that sub button on this YouTube channel yet, please do so. Definitely helps me out. But it's Ibantis everywhere. Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you soon.